What's going on, explorers? Brandon, 6'4 Explorer, exploring with Urbex Sticklin, 6'4 Explorer, back at you with another really cool house. Now this one, there's no decay, there's nothing like that. This house has only been abandoned for about a year. It's in a spot right by a highway that's getting a bunch of condos. So it's empty, it looks nice, it is abandoned. So let's check it out. We're starting out here, we've got a hot tub. So you can hear the highway, you can see the highway wall right there. Again, this house, it has power. The fire alarm is still ringing, but there's no, there's no water. So that's, that's the start of it. Again, a nice huge property, which is why it's gonna be gone now. Nice little rooster. Beautiful old wood doors. There's nothing going on in any of the cupboards. It's all empty. These people, they moved pretty good. We're still gonna take a peek. That's the basement. So we'll do that in a minute. See, just empty closets. A beautiful wood accents all around. Look at this little area. You can see everything. You got some stairs, an open into one room, more stairs, two more rooms. I'll show you right here. See, there's no water. You get a little bit left in here. And weird. We'll see, we'll check around. Beautiful chandelier. Let's do the loop, shall we? Beautiful door handles again. Hopefully that beep doesn't get too annoying throughout the video. Look at what they did here with these awesome lights. I like when people do things like that. That looks nice, eh? Let's get a better view. That would look good sitting right by the bow, bay window. Not too bad, eh? Nice thick wainscoting wood all around the windows, all around the all around the floor. Beautiful wood beams. Nice little light fixture. Bathroom with some toilet paper. Another closet behind us. Let's go check out this room here. Look at that, eh? It's a beautiful place. Again, it doesn't look bad. There's a, like a few cobwebs. One touched my head while I was downstairs. Oh, do we have one more room? Nope, we did that circle. So let's check out upstairs. Up the stairs we go. Oh, nice wood and carpet. Down that fire alarm, it's up here. A beautiful door. A lot of rooms up here. Somebody like drawing. I'm not crazy, my reality is just different than yours. Very cool. Again, I like those doors. Almost like a castle. Look, whatever's holding the door open is filled with mouse poo. You know when they're running around free, nobody's been here for a while. Let's 
It's got to smell like a cottage in here. I really like it. Upstairs anyway, downstairs had a little bit of a rough smell. But nothing serious. It's beautiful. It's starting to uh, get into some bad shape there. Flies and cobwebs around the doors. One of the doors outside I can show you. It's just completely covered with cobwebs. You didn't even want to touch it to get in. And thankfully, it wasn't the only open door. There's a real nice little area when you come up the other set of stairs. A couple big closets. Another look at the backyard. It's huge. Even those chairs all the way down there, those are also from this property. Three back. So yeah, there's gotta be a pool back there. They've got their hot tub. But the property is just gigantic. Gigantic. Just another nice room. Nice lights all up on the ceiling. There's two sets of them. Got some dog wallpaper around the top. Different color paint. Okay. Well, that's it for the upstairs. Again, they got those really cool light bulbs all over this house. It's a very rustic feel. I'll show you again. See, even in these ones. Same light bulbs. In here, same light bulb. Okay, we'll come down these stairs just so I can give you the whole effect of the house. And come back down to the kitchen. But we're gonna go to the basement. Let's make our way down here. Since there's power, let's use it. Turn the lights on. This is tiny, tiny little area right here. This little storage spot. And then you see, it goes from about maybe five feet and then drops. So I don't have to duck down anymore. Here we got a whole bunch of golf balls. The units for the house. Again, I'm really surprised this place has power. Really surprised, but it won't be long. Hopefully the people that demolish it don't get hurt. We got Macy, we got Haley. Again, tell me what you think of the houses when they're like this. Leave me a comment. If I find one that's been bought up by developers and it's gonna be gone soon, even though it's not bad looking, do you guys still want me to film them? Should I still be putting them out here? Because these houses, we're not going to get a chance to see them decayed or let nature take them back. These houses get bought, and since they're in such a prime location, they're going to get torn down right away. So from developers buying it, people moving out to it getting torn down, it's only about a year to two years. So let me know what you think in the comments below, please. Should I film these houses that are not bad looking? but that will be getting demolished, please let me know. What's going on, Explorers? So I took a peek in the garage. There's nothing in it, and there's houses across the street from here, so I don't really want to go and... The door's closed, and we don't open doors, and I don't want to be hanging around it looking suspicious or nothing like that, so... I'm sorry. There's nothing in it, though. I took a good peek. You're not missing anything. Maybe I'll do a quick scan in through the window so you guys can see. But I hope you guys like this one. Like, subscribe, share it, hit the notifications, blast this out, let everybody see it. And also, keep sending those comments. I love hearing them, and I'm going to keep replying faster and faster. Thank you all. 6-4 Explorer with you. Ciao for now. See what I mean? It's just an empty garage. Nothing in it at all. Not missing anything. Remember, I tell you guys always, when the season starts up, go Blue Jays. Let's bring it home this year. World Series.